everyone who can make a good cup of tea. It's simple, really, but many people get careless about tea making. Careless? They don't know the secret, you mean. There is no secret, really. That's a fallacy. Just a few simple rules to remember. What are they? I'll tell you all the tea instructor told me when I first took over my canteen. First of all, a tea leaf is a delicate and sensitive plant. Therefore, it must be stored correctly. There are two reasons for this. Number one is to keep the tea as dry as possible. And number two, to prevent the tea from being contaminated. The best form of storage is an airtight container. This is not always possible, but in any case, the tea chest or metal bin must have a lid that fits well. Tea leaves will very quickly absorb all kinds of aromas, so do not store near to fruit, soap, cheese, spices or disinfectant. Don't keep the tea chest against a wall or on the floor, for they may be damp. Keep it off the ground by placing it on two pieces of wood. Thus. So much for storing. Now for the tea making itself. There are six golden tips to remember in making good tea. Number one, always use a good quality tea. It's cheaper in the long run, for in addition to a superior flavor, it yields more cups to the pound and is therefore more economical. Number two, always use freshly drawn water. Remember, stale water means stale tea. Remember to warm the pot. This is most important, preventing loss of temperature. Number four, make sure the correct proportion of tea is measured for the amount of water in the pot. Number five, the water must just be boiling. Tea made with underboiled water will be weak and flavorless, whereas overboiled water becomes de-aerated and flat and renders the infusion dull in color and insipid in taste. Number six. Last, but by no means least, let the tea infuse properly before serving. Natural soft water infuses more readily than hard and makes the best tea. What happens during infusion is this. The tea leaves are unrolled by the boiling water. Then they release their natural juices within the stated time. If left too long, the tea may become a little bitter. The time tea takes to draw varies with the grade of tea and the amount made. An ordinary teapot infuses in three to five minutes. An eight gallon urn might take from 10 to 15 minutes. In this order, china, earthenware, Electroplated metal and stainless steel teapots are most suitable for making tea. Enamel and ordinary tin teapots are not recommended. If tea is to be kept in a pot for some time, the brew should be poured through a strainer into a second teapot which has been previously warmed. This will prevent the tea from becoming over-infused. Urns and multipots are generally used for keeping tea hot in bulk for any length of time, especially in canteens, such as those serving the forces, or in tea cars, which may be sent off at a moment's notice, often traveling through the night to serve civil defense workers. And to help distressed people in bombed areas or serving the troops on active service. A multipot is an insulated urn which will keep the tea hot for several hours. Tea for urns and multipots is made as already described except that the tea is placed in an infuser. Or 
all enclosed in a muslin bag. which must be loosely tied to allow for expansion of the leaves. These tea leaves are then left long enough for infusion to take place, when they must be removed from the urn. In the case of the bags, they should be squeezed to extract all the tea juice, and then soaked in cold water. Afterwards, hung up to dry before using again. The best way to sweeten tea in bulk is to make a syrup in a jug with some liquid tea. After making sure that all the sugar has dissolved, pour the syrup into the urn. If possible, three milk the cups, but if not, then do not add the milk to the tea in the urn until the last possible moment. The adding of the milk too soon causes the tea to deteriorate. You would not add milk to tea in a thermos flask, then try not to do so in an urn. Rather than do this, draw off a quantity of tea from the urn into a large teapot or jug to which the milk has already been added. Urns, multi-pots, and for that matter, teapots too, should be kept scrupulously clean, both inside and out. Immediately after use, they should be thoroughly cleaned with hot water and a clean cloth. Should they become badly stained, a little whitening powder may be used, but on no account must soda, wire wool, or any abrasive agent be employed, for they would scratch the lining. One of the most important parts of an urn to clean is the tap, but more often than not, this is neglected. Remember, a dirty tap means dirty tea. When not in use, urns should be stored with their lids off and taps open. This will keep them fresh. In conclusion, remember, tea is not a manufactured article which can be made, bottled up, and served at will. It must be prepared every time it is required, and it... Success or failure depends entirely upon the attention you pay to the six golden rules. Six golden rules? Can I remember them? Of course you can. Try now. All right, here goes. Number one, always use a good quality tea. Good. Number two, Always use freshly drawn water, right? Number three, remember to warm the teapot or urn. Everyone knows that one. And number four, measure the right quantity of tea for the amount of water in the pot. Very good. Number five, the water must reach boiling point, pot to the kettle, not kettle to the pot. And the last rule, number six, let the tea brew for five to ten minutes before serving. Excellent! What do you say, Mother? Yes, then tea will revive you. Now you have the secret, as you call it. So in future, don't spoil good tea by bad preparation. Let every cup you make be a cup that cheers.